Salutations everyone, this is Razor here giving you guys my Sunday Emblem tutorial as I do every week where I take something from video games, internet culture, TV shows, comics, what have you, give you guys a nice Emblem tutorial on how to make said thing and today I'm giving you guys a video game related emblem where I'm going to show you how to make KK Slider aka Totokike from Animal Crossing in honor of uh, the New Leaf 3DS game that came out, I don't know, like a month ago. Uh, but I, I had the idea to uh, to make an Animal Crossing character because I just I know how popular that series is. So it was, I was wondering if anyone had ever done any Animal Crossing characters in Black Ops 2 Emblem Tutorial Land. And uh, boy, I love it when I'm the first one to think of something. Uh, especially when it comes to uh, to Emblem Tutorials. And uh, no one else really has one. I mean, obviously not on YouTube anyway. So uh, this is uh, this is one of the first. And I, when I was thinking about which uh, character to do, uh, I don't play Animal Crossing. Uh, first off, so I'm sorry if that infuriates you. But uh, whenever Animal Crossing comes to mind, uh, the KK Slider is is the first one that pops in my head. Uh, I, I was also thinking maybe I should do the Villager because. Uh, He's going to be in the new Super Smash Brothers game, um, but I, I decided to go with a KK Slider because uh, that's just he is the character from Animal Crossing to me. That's the first one that pops in my head. There's also like that mole dude that's really angry. There's that raccoon guy with the apron. I don't know. I'm I'm sorry if I, you're an Animal Crossing fan and I am infuriating you with my lack of knowledge about the series, but I've just, I've never played any of the games. I remember when it came out on GameCube and that was a huge roaring success and a lot of people like akin it to Nintendo's Farmville or Cityville or, you know, it's one of those, one of those Facebook simulation game uh, like games. Of course, I'm sure it's more in depth and has better graphics and all this better stuff because people love it so much uh, that there's gotta be something that sets it apart. Uh, so I decided to do KK Slider, uh, aka Totoki K, as you uh, might know his name. That that was his name uh, as the uh, melee trophy in Super Smash Bros. Melee. I remember uh, unlocking that, and his name on the melee trophy was Totoki K. Um, I'm not sure if that was after. I'm I'm not sure if that was after Animal Crossing came on the GameCube or before, because that's obviously the Japanese name, because it was. Uh, because after all, he is named after the uh, the 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 sound designer from Animal Crossing, uh, Kazumi Totaka, and since his name is Japanese, uh, you know the last names are written first. So when you write it out and shorten it, it'd be Totaka K because first name is Kazumi, so Totaka then K. Um, which I guess I guess it, it would have to have come out in Japan uh, on Animal Crossing before. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee came out because I remember on the trophy for Totokake, it says future release. So Melee must have came out before Animal Crossing. So that's why it doesn't say KK Slider because that's his name in the American versions for who knows what reason. Maybe he's named after CC Rider or something. I don't know. Um, but I do know that uh, he shows up. In the game, I'm not sure if they're all the games, that all Animal Crossing games are the same, but I know he shows up Saturday nights. That's kind of his thing from like 8, eight o'clock to midnight. Uh, and I know this because in Super Smash Brothers Brawl, in the Smashville level, which is the Animal Crossing level, K.K. Uh, Slider will play his guitar on that level if you were playing on that stage between 8 p.m. and midnight on Saturday nights. So uh, that's kind of cool that they, uh, they kept that in, but... Um, They've always been real good about, you know, Easter eggs and that kind of stuff. Um, especially within the Nintendo universe and as well as Super Smash Bros. Brawl. As far as the uh, emblem goes, uh, pretty simple shape because, you know, he's very generic, uh, spherical looking dog. So just some uh, some ovals, some circles, some curved lines that you have to round out with small ovals at the ends. Eyebrows, are you have a pretty uh, good shape for you. Just got to make sure that they're rounded at the bottom. With an additional shape, the mouth, as you can see, I had a little bit of trouble with, uh, but in the end, it looked uh, just nice. You just want to make sure it's the right size and the, the colors match. 
Uh, I decided to go with the, not just one whole color because it makes it look weird. So I gave him like a tongue, even though there's like three or four colors within his mouth. Uh, you have to you have to save layers where you can. I wanted to do the entire body uh, with the guitar, but of course that wasn't uh, that wasn't possible. So I just decided to do the head and the guitar. I've tried him like holding the, gu the guitar um, with you know just his paws and no legs, but uh, that you take away the detail from the guitar, which doesn't look that good anyway. I mean, it doesn't look as I, I wish they had a guitar. Um, uh, vector in in this game i i don't remember if they did in the first one but i feels like i feel like that would be a a good uh item for them to have they don't have nearly as many good items in black ops 2 emblems uh than they did in black ops 1 that's very very disappointing there's so many emblems that i i'm not able to make in this game because of the uh the objects they don't give you because they don't give you shit for objects in this game i'm not sure if i've ever even used one until now where i use the ladder for part of the guitar for the strings which uh isn't doesn't stretch along the cro the body of the guitar as you would expect but uh if you look at uh kk slider's guitar in animal crossing you can really only see the strings over over the uh the whole of the uh of the acoustic guitar so the guitar doesn't look that great. I had to make it out of this uh, this bell kind of a thing. Um, so I had to make the right color and, um, you know, obviously make it not look like a bell and give it some detail. So it looks like a guitar, even though it's got this like knob at the base, uh, which, you know, works for some guitars, but not for KK's in particular. So, you know, do with what you got. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I used the uh, the dog title there for the uh, for the end, and I will see you guys next time.